Okay, well, we're out here at the uh, our dirt lot. See if we can see what else we can find out here. Should ought to be a pretty good day. Wish us luck. Okay, well, my wife found something here real quick. I can see it, part of it sitting right there. Put your finger where it is. Okay. Right can you get it out of there? Yeah. Huh. Oh, that's a uh, old brass handle off of a uh, faucet. <laughs> well, a good start of yeah, the day. Yeah, cool. All right. All right, we'll take it. Off to the next. And that a 84 here. I started digging a little bit, but <laughs> what? Take that from a distance. <laughs> Whatever it is down here is still in the ground, right there. There it is. I see it too. Dime. Clad dime. Yeah, well, we'll take the clad dime. It's spendable. Anything else in here? There's something right there. Let's see what it is before we go too far. And I moved it. There's something. And a button. Button of some type. Looks like it. That looks like it might have a leaf on it, like a maple leaf or something. Huh. Well, that's kind of cool. Yeah, we'll take it. Right on. Check and see if there's anything else in there. Nope, guess not. Okay. Move on. Okay, my wife found something else here. Looks like a big cartridge, spent cartridge. Yeah, just a bullet. Yeah, but it's a rim fire. There's no primer. It's full of gunk, but it's still a. That's a big old rim fire. I don't know what that even means. That means that there's no center. You know. There's no center primer there where the firing pin hits. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, that's old. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Cool. Okay. Off to the next. My wife calls me over. She says, I got one bacon in the sun over here. Yeah. Okay, let's see what you right got. Right on top. Isn't that something? What is it? I don't even have to dig. Oh, a Lincoln. Oh, no, it's not. Looks like it might be a weedy. Oh, it is a wheat straw. It says one cent. Wow. <laughs> right awesome. on top. Got a wheatie. Woohoo. Yeah. On top. <laughs> That's little, funny. Thing's a little bit warm, too, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's hot today. Yeah. I bet it is warm. Yeah. Okay. Well, I had a really high tone. Way up in the 80s. Almost close to the 90s. And I can see something here in that clump right there you see it so let's break that apart and see what it looks like a quarter it is a quarter and it's not an old quarter either like a 90 1998 clad quarter oh well we tried <laughs> Boy, I sure thought that was 
something better than just a quarter there. I'm going to check the hole and see if there's anything more in there. Nope, that was it. Okay, off to the next. Okay, started digging on this. Sounded like it might be a penny or something. But, yeah, who knows. Here's the edge, whatever it is. Moved it. Right there. I see it. It's a key. Probably not a very old one either. Yeah, got us a key. All right. Anything else in the hole? Nope. All right. Off to the next. Okay, had about an 81. And uh, I can see it down in here. That's Lincoln. It's a Memorial Lincoln. But, in this same hole when I pop that dirt out look right there there's marble that come out with it awesome a little bit chipped right there but no big deal cool two items in the same spot I love it off to the next now my wife said she had about a 58 or a 60 right here there it is. I can see it. It's right around here someplace. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, it's a little debuckle, a little part of the buckle. Oh, well. Ah, cool. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see what else we get. Another screaming signal. Pretty low though, high 70s. Let's see what we have. Right there. Oh, I see something. That's it, right there. Oh, yeah. Well, that was kind of a hard stopper for a second until I saw no cash value on it. Car wash token. Man, that's a big car wash token, too. Holy cow. One very deep. Probably somebody walking along this little ditch bank right along here. Probably lost it. So. Not too long ago. Probably this year. Oh well, that was fun. See what else is out there. And my wife dug up this big piece of metal here. You can see the, the big spot that it came out of. Anyway, looking at it. It says Cutler Hammer Motor Control on this tag right here. That's pretty awesome. I'm not not sure what what it's off of, but we'll probably take that back and you know, yes, clean it up and see what see if we can determine what it came off of. Awesome. Well, we'll see what else we find. Okay, I come across one here. Right here. And I'm not quite sure what it is. Rang up in the upper 60s. For me anyway. 
That's a toy car. Awesome. Let's get the dirt out of there. I'll clean it up when I get home, but some type of a little uh, uh, looks like a Tootsie car. Tootsie toy. Awesome. Those are fun. Now we'll take it. Off to the next. I had about a 53 here. And uh, sure enough, it's a nickel. Doesn't appear to be an old one. No, just a regular old Jefferson nickel. But hey, we got a nickel. <laughs> All right, I'll see what else is out there. I got about 59.60 here. I don't know. It was a solid, solid tone, but right there. Well, it's a uh, I think it says be prepared on it Another Boy Scout item looks like Yep, be prepared huh. Well, that's pretty cool. I didn't expect that one Okay, anything else in there? No, all right on to the next. I started digging on screaming a high signal here. Like way up 89.90. Got it out of here. And it almost looks like it was some type of a button or something. You see a little bit of a gold glint on there. Looks like it was a two piece, whatever it is. Sure corroded up though. Now I'll take it back and we'll see if we can clean it up at least enough to ID it. So huh, that was different. Alright, we'll see what else is out here. I got about an 80, 82 here. Let's we'll see what we come up with. There it is. Right there. So got some dirt stuck to it. Wheat straw. Woohoo! Got a sweetie out here. Nice. Alright. Anything else in the hole? No. Okay. All right, we off we go to the next. Now well, she's got like a 84, 86 over here. As high as 90, low as 76. Let's see what she's got. So many readings in the same hole, and especially uh -huh. when it's deep. I don't even know if I want to mess with it. Oh, we'll give it a shot. Right there. Shows something right on the surface yep. almost. <laughs> There's something little. What is it? Oh, I don't know. It looks like a... It's the... Off of a jacket. A zipper pull a or something. A zipper pull. It does look... Oh, yeah. it doesn't. Wait a minute. Well, I know what that is. Looking at it from the side. What? That's a little wheelbarrow, like a oh, <laughs> like one of those. Uh, I'll be darned. Maybe from like an old Monopoly. Yeah, game Monopoly or game wheelbarrow. When they made them out of metal. Yeah. <laughs> be awesome. Darned. That's cool. <laughs> All right. Outstanding. All right. 
Well, off to the next then. Okay, had about a, another 79 or so out here. And uh, I started digging a little bit. It was right in here. I've moved it to over to here now. So let's see what it is. Oh, something right there. You can see where the where it was stuck right there. Now it's right there. Well, it's a brass tag of some type. It's got some numbers on it. I see an eight and a one. Maybe another one over here. One eight one something can't tell what the last number is that's pretty cool got a hole in the top no idea what it was but that's pretty cool that's the second one we found out here all right well, it's getting hot out here I think that might be one of our last finds so we'll uh we'll get everything cleaned up later and and show you what we have so, okay, that's it. Well, we <clears throat> made it back from our metal detecting last last night. Didn't get to this until this morning. You can see we got quite a pile of trash here today. Boy, it was a trashy day. Uh, just all kinds of things. Melted aluminum. Uh, rusted iron just all kinds of stuff and yeah, nails everything <clears throat> my wife dug out this great big plate here uh, it was a cover over a motor control box apparently it says cutler hammer motor control on it uh, apparently from the late 30s uh, right around the 1940 period time period but uh, that's a big, big control, motor control panel there. So uh, whatever was at the location had some type of manufacturing or something going on there at one time. I'm always amazed at how many uh, spent rounds we find out there. A couple of them are blanks here, about three of them are blanks, but the rest were were good rounds so that that always amazes me I, I don't know why we find so many spent rounds in in town that's just a little aluminum home measuring cup or something that was found <coughs> that looks like it at one time could have been a button of some type uh, doubt if it's military doesn't have a su substantial enough uh, shank to it there so that old button uh, pretty nice old marble there that was found this I think was uh, fit together something similar to that it's probably an old brass bell at one time I wish I could have found the rest of it but uh, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. There's a brass, uh, old brass handle for a faucet. There's that car wash token. Not old, but I'm surprised at how big it is. Fifty fifty six or fifty six fifty Spencer, I believe. Spencer casing, rim fire with a U on the bottom of it for Union Metallic Cartridge Company. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. That's probably about a 30, 32 caliber bullet there. It's got like five grease rings, lubrication rings in it. Might have been handmade, poor, 
who knows a couple of keys that wife found she found that uh, little buckle piece she also found that little monopoly wheelbarrow piece that's pretty cool I don't think they use these in the games anymore monopoly games so that's that's a pretty awesome piece <laughs> that's a fiat a barth car or a barth whatever they call it tootsie toy <laughs> good old tootsie toy car little button looks like it has like a leaf on it maple leaf or something not worth anything but it was kind of a cool find old key got uh, two two wheat cents down here one's 1956 and the other one's 1925 so that was that was kind of nice there's a brass tag that's the second one we found at that location this one has a 1811 on it it's not quite sure what it is but I'm starting to believe that whatever was at that location was probably associated with this this panel and and all that was probably had something to do with one another at one time <coughs> that's a uh, part of a boy scout pin or badge or something says along the bottom says be prepared boy scout stuff is always fun to find so anyway that's that's what we brought back <coughs> wasn't a whole lot of whole lot of stuff but there's some there's still some good items in there some interesting things stuff that has a story to it i'm sure <coughs> so anyway as always appreciate everybody supporting us watching our videos we'll keep making them as long as you keep watching uh, please like share subscribe ring the notification bell so you're notified of our new videos and as always hey we'll talk to you again see you again